Thank you, Paolo, for having us. Do you do you hear me well? Yes, we can hear you well, and I uh, I am uh, very eager to hear first of all what it is that you are setting out to do, and mm -hmm. uh, how did the idea originate? Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, we are delighted to be with you today, and even remote. Uh, I can feel the passion from the steel case building, uh, and I heard the call to the private sector in the previous panel. That's what we're going to talk about uh, from a very practical perspective. Um, maybe as an introduction, new fund is a venture capital. Uh, we've been around for 15 years. We have raised over $300 million from individual LPs, so it's really private money. Uh, they believe that startups are both a good investment and a way to make the world a better place. So there are these two objectives that are the core of our mission. Currently, Newfound has a portfolio of 110 startups, including 49 in the USA. Altogether, we've made 50 exits so far, and we are a team of 20. Um, before uh, digging into ECA and our initiative, maybe Marion, uh, i let you uh, present yourself. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time. Very happy to be with you today. My name is Marion Le Boyer. I'm a psychiatrist by training. I uh, have created this uh, non-profit foundation called Fondation Fondamentale, which aims at uh, improving healthcare in France uh, and also to establish private-public partnership towards innovation for patients and prevention. So we've been able to create this partnership that uh, Francois is going to describe. Uh, Newfound had previously invested in the field of brain capital before launching ECA. Um, just maybe for those wondering, Eka is an ancient Egyptian deity associated with the vital energy with which uh, every individual is endowed. Um, but if, if, if we stand before you uh, and this outstanding audience today, uh, I owe it primarily to an utterly ex unexpected encounter with Marion. It was a loyal friend who brought us together for a Sunday lunch in a beautiful Parisian mansion. And I came away from our conversation utterly impressed by Marion's energy and her desire to bridge her world, that of research and the clinic, with the world of startups, which she sees as a significant part of the solution to mental health and brain health issue. Um, so it all started from the individual. And at the heart of our project, there is indeed the individual, their problems, their capability. And I think it's important to stress that ICA is an impact fund fully committed to Sustainable Development Goal 3.4, promoting good health and well-being, with the objective to reduce premature mortality from non-communicable diseases through prevention and treatment. And all of you know that these non-communicable diseases, the three main of them, are dementia, stroke, and uh, depression. Uh, can you see my screen if I go into the first slide? Is that working well? Uh, we can't see your slides yet. Maybe, uh, are you sharing already? Yeah, I'm sharing. Oh, yes, so, now we can see them, yes. It's okay? Yes. So, yeah, that's a small animation. Um, because starting from the individual, we see that there is something missing. And I think in the previous discussion, it was quite clear that in the production chain of brain health, um, on one side, we have scientific discoveries. On the other, people in need. And we all know that demand has increased post-pandemic, but the condition, connection between the two isn't well established. And at Newfound, we spent time understanding what was missing. It's not solely a question of the number and the quality of people involved. Across every democracy, we are at the limit of spending for healthcare. So we have to be more productive and focus more on prevention. And three elements probably are lacking. That's our diagnostic. The product, especially more refined diagnostic tools, that allow for better treatment personalization, the business models, because no one wants to pay. And I think it's very clear now that uh, the systems are at their limit and market access as it's essential first to experiment and prove effectiveness beyond clinical studies, but before widespread adoption. And the idea of early adopters, which is at the key, which is at the core of the, of the VC experience can be very helpful here. And these three elements are what startups can bring to the table. Um, we want to build a science-based approach. Uh, it's been tried a lot in different aspects. We know that 
Uh, MedTech Investment, VC MedTech Investment has often failed. So how do we make sure that our investments are science-based? Um, so as I say, it's not an easy task and I'm sure we'll make mistakes. Uh, what are mistakes? Some of the startups in which we will invest might be scientifically disappointing because we will invest early in their development because we believe that's where we will be the most useful. So by definition, everything won't be proven by the time ECA invests. But we will have done our homework. We won't have scientific validation, but we will have the best possible assessment thanks to the working methods of the fund and the unique partnership we have with Marion Le Boyer's Fundamental Foundation. The partnership is based on the convergence of interest in the fund success, and it operates simply, at least on paper. After the standard business due diligence, we will step back as VCs and let the scientists assess the investment opportunity. Of course, there are big challenges behind this simple idea. We will need to calibrate the intervention and respect each party's ethical standards while moving quickly as the pace of startup is fast. And that's really what we're working on with Mario and her team. Last slide, uh, what will we invest in? Um, we've uh, scrutinized over 300 opportunities since the beginning of the year, and this fund is very recent. It has been established um, in June on June 30th uh, of this year. Um, you can see on the slide the factual elements of the investment strategy. We aim to build a portfolio of around 25 startups, which will commercially expand in the U.S. from their inception. The majority of our startups will originate from Europe, where research is very promising and grant systems very generous. In the U.S. California will be a strong focus, no doubt, both with, for the Silicon Valley atmosphere, but also from the initiative that we've heard uh, particularly today. And from what we see from our deal flow, we'll have around 70% of startups in the field of neurology and psychiatry and 30% and in nutrition and skills development. Maybe to mention a few types of startups we are working on, there's a solution that administers a neurometabolic analysis a urine sample to help identify which neurotransmitter is deficient and therefore to provide personalized supplementation the missing element. There's also uh, this other company that uses clinically validated speech biomarkers to help physicians detect relapses and find optimal treatment strategies for brain disorders like major depressive disorder and schizophrenia. And on the other end of the spectrum, we just have invested in Reef Care which designed robotic orthosis for patients with walking disorders related to neurogenerated diseases or post-stroke patients. Make no mistake, our portfolio of 25, 30 startups will be very diverse at the end. We learn a lot throughout this journey and we hope that as many of you as possible will be part of it, that we will learn a lot together. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, uh, Francois and Marion. I would have one very quick question uh, to Marion before we uh, finish, namely this uh, concept of a venture fund being scientifically based and scientifically anchored. I think it's extremely unique and, uh, and, uh, and valuable. Uh, if you could say a, a few more words about how it will work in practice, namely, are you hoping to uh, define the strategy of HECA, meaning uh, to uh, outline the areas in which uh, HECA would invest, um, or is it going to be more um, uh, verifying whether the individual pitches uh, are scientifically based, or is it both of these? So the, the strategy that we have defined with uh, François Véron is that a uh, new fund will select on the basis of traditional criteria what startup we should be working on as scientists, and then we will be working uh, with experts of the domain of each of the startup to de demonstrate, check uh, the scientific validity and usefulness of what they want to launch. And so this is a unique partnership, as you just said, uh, which I, I hope will enable the capacity of the startups to launch products that will be helpful for patients, both uh, in terms of treatments, but also in terms of prevention, because as, as you've seen on, on Francois' slides, we also have a large array of ambition towards better uh, uh, diet, better prevention on all sorts of uh, dimensions that you just described before this uh, presentation, which is uh, 
hopefully going to enable kids in particular and teenagers to have a better health in the future. Great, thank you so much. This is an incredible project and we all keep our fingers crossed uh, for its success. Uh, Marion and Francois, many thanks for joining us today. Congratulations on, on the launch. HECA is now uh, officially out there and uh, seeking uh, projects and ready to fund uh, the progress in mental and brain health. Uh, that also, in tangible terms, demonstrates uh, how the brain capital uh, agenda can be advanced. Uh, so thank you very much for, for that, uh, and congratulations again. Um, with this, we end the morning's uh, program, which has been extremely rich, and we have a well-deserved 55-minute uh, uh, lunch break, which will take place upstairs. Thank you so much.